Okay, so uh, this is about the shape lock hinge, uh, which is a one-handed demo, so um, it'll be a little weird. So here's my little phone in my little phone holder here, and you'll notice that I can um, uh, move the hinge around as I want to. And also it rotates around, and it even rotates, well, I can't really do it on here, but it rotates the other way. Uh, it, there's a hinge, regular rotation hinge here. The rotation hinge here, and then this is sort of the fancy knuckle here that you can kind of hinge it back and forth on. And then I'll pull these apart and just extract. And I'll put the, I'll put the uh, phone right straight back into there, extracting a little knuckle hinge out of the middle here. And here that is. Oop, let's see if we can get that into a non blurry state. Um, and here you can see that I can kind of bend it back and forth. Oh, you know what I can do? Oh, there we go. Just put it in here. There we go. And you can see that it bends back and forth fairly, fairly straightforwardly. Um, it's a little hard to see on the video here, but um, uh, I realize this looks like one giant white blob, uh, but. Uh, there is uh, kind of one tubular piece here, and what you can see from the outside is an end cap here and an end cap here, and then a plastic bar across the top of them that holds uh, this top piece, this top, this top piece here. Uh, it connects it to these two outside edges here. And the trick is to... Um, Boy, it's unfortunate that's blurry. Uh, that the trick is to make this inner tube here. Um, I just wrap some plastic around a pen, then I cut off both of the uh, ends uh, here and here of just the tube piece. So I just had a tube with nice, neat cut ends on it. And then I took another piece of shape lock that was about the inside diameter of that tube, uh, made it all soft and warm, rolled it out. Uh, warmed it up again, and then passed it through the center here and squeezed on the end. Oh, cold dipped it, so it uh, was cool on the outside, but still soft and gooey in the middle. So I had that tube, it's all ready to go. I slipped it inside this tube here, compressed down the ends, um, and that's what made the two little end caps here. Uh, and uh, then attached uh, this top piece just at the end points of those two caps there, and that's why uh, this piece can move around the outside. And uh, once I was done with that, I could easily attach this to that top piece, and then this bottom piece here was just glued onto the center, oopsie, here, uh, was just glued onto the, uh, uh, the center cylinder there. Oh, yeah. um, Again, it's a little tricky to see all this, uh, but uh, I hope this helps, gives you a sense of how it all works, and you can see it all moving. Woohoo!